Hi friends, welcome to www.smartkitprojects.com. The name of this project is RTC based pump switching management as you can see on the LCD. Now I am going to tell you what are the components then I will explain uh, what is this project used for. So let's start with the explanation of the components. Uh, as you can see these are relays uh, which is connected to a holder and a simple bulb. This is a Bluetooth module over here which is connected to a simple Android phone. This is LED lights. This is now a PIC microcontroller, PIC microcontroller over here. And this now here is RTC IC PS1307. It is a uh, R, uh, which updates the timing calendar days uh, on the real current scenario. And this is a CMOS battery to power this, uh, to give the power supply to this IC driver. And here, as you can see, this is a power uh, supply section. Now I am going to tell you on how this project is used, can be used in farms. So if you have seen the farms, there are multiple motors which sprinkles the water in the farm. For an example, uh, if the uh, motor or the machine which sprinkles the water is not switched off in the appropriate timing, so there is a wastage of water uh, and there is a wastage of electricity. So what this uh, system does is, it allows us to set the timing for each of the, suppose consider this as water pump, so it, it will allow us to set the timing at which timing uh, the sprinkle water sprinkle pump should get on and at what timing it should get turned off accordingly it will allow us to set the timing for all the uh, loads which we consider as water pumps. So let's see the uh, current scenario or live demonstration of the project now as you can see there are three options on the LCD first to set the clock timing to set the pump timing and E to exit so we'll start with the first option now to set the clock timing according to the real current timing we have to press from a simple android phone we have to press capital C so by just sending it so see it has given an option to set the time so we'll uh, set it to 319 3 and 19 okay so let's press send so our uh, time has been set to 319 and now we will set the timings for this water pump at what time it should get on and what time uh, the other pump should on and off accordingly so for uh, pump 1 uh, we will uh, allot timing of 3 320 ok and at 320 the first load will start and at 321 it will get switched off now second load will start at 321 and at 322 it will get switched off now if we want both the pumps to work simultaneously together and uh, we will uh, uh, type here 321 for this uh, pump also and 322 of timing so at 322 this gets switched off and 322 will uh, assign time for the last water pump to get started and at 323 uh, it will get switched off now we have set the timing for all the four water sprinklers now by pressing capital E the system will start working now as you can see we had set the first uh, uh, timing like for first water sprinkle pump we had set the timing to 321 and it has just started on its current timing so 27 seconds has passed so and uh, simultaneously it will show the timing dynamically at what time each of the load will get switched on or switched off for 1 320 it will switch off at 321 for 2 321 switch off timing 322 for 3 321 322 and last not least 4 322 323 so yes the second uh, both the uh, loads have uh, started working together because for this two we had set the timing 321 so these uh, two water pumps have started 
simultaneously or uh, all together so at uh, 3 uh, 22 this both load will get switched off and this fourth and the last pump will start so by using this technology there will be a very less use of water and also we can save electricity and this is a complete automatic process there is no human uh, interference needed in this project so it can run for years months days whatever you want this is a basically a complete automatic process and which is very beneficial in today's era where there is a problem of electricity and very huge huge problem of water so as you can see the timing here 3 uh, 22 it has st it has started and will end at 3.23 also it, it uh, displays dynamically and here on the last uh, option is there you can see all uh, the current you can track uh, the current scenario like which uh, load is on or off I mean which water pump is on or off see it's showing that first is off second is off third is off and fourth is on I mean it also shows the current uh, working of I mean scenario of which water pump is on or off and this way you can drive by this also on the LCD So as you can see this project is working very fine and all of you can give your timing according to what you want to set the timing for the water sprinkler then in which way you can save the energy and automate the complete process. So thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please subscribe. Thank you.